Hello everyone, my name is Leo with Super Tech. Today we're going to be working on Nintendo Switch that was brought to me by a customer. Basically he stated that the uh, USB-C port um, it's in bad condition and he, needed to re he needs it replaced. I have not done a USB-C port replacement. I noticed, I just noticed actually on my uh, channel. So we're going to go ahead and record the process that I do. Uh, to replace any USB-C ports, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Let's go ahead and validate right now, just to make sure that this USB-C port itself act is actually, in fact, in bad condition. I zoomed in as far as I can. Let's see if we could. Hmm. I'm not sure if you guys can actually see that. It does look in very, very bad shape right there. Let me go ahead and use a scope real quick. Yeah, by the looks of it, this port, this USB-C port, is definitely, definitely in in rough conditions. So it does need to be replaced. So let's go ahead and get this console. Let's go ahead and get this Nintendo Switch uh, opened and uh, replace the replace the uh, USB-C port. I don't have a way of testing it right now and that's only because uh, the USB-C port doesn't work. So we're going to replace that and go from there. Alrighty, we've got all the screws out off of here. So now all we need to do is remove this, which is the board, the PCB board completely off of here. And now we are down to just the board. So what we need to do is actually replace this port here. And I do have the mini USB ports right over here mini USB-C ports I'm just gonna validate to make sure it's the right size yes it is alright so now what I need to do is actually remove this port to do that I do need to use I'll keep dropping stuff. Need to use this device here. All 
All right, let's go ahead and go to the microscope. All right, first things first, we got to go ahead and add some low melt solder to this. We're going to add it to the top first, and then we're going to add some at the bottom. Alrighty, we've got the low melt solder on there. Now what we're going to do is actually heat the board from this position to where the port actually falls down. We don't want to put too much, we don't want to pull on it or tug on it too, much, too hard because there is some pins in there that we do not have the ability to put low melt solder on. So what we're going to do is, in this position, basically heat it up, and then I'm going to tuck down on this. And actually, I'm going to turn it around the other way. So that we get heat on less components. So you can see there's hardly components that way. There's more stuff that way. So we're going to heat it up that way, and uh, I'm going to tug on this downward so that this port can actually just fall down as soon as, uh, as soon as everything melts. We need a little solder. The temperature I am using it's going to be 770 Fahrenheit with 80% uh, airflow, and I'm putting the air that way so I can avoid the hot air from all these other components. There we go, we got the port off. I don't see that any pads were torn, that's good. That's one of the things we do not want to see. We don't want to see any uh, torn pads. Now what we need to do is clean off this all this low melt solder we put on there. We're gonna use our wick to clean that off. Before we do though, we gotta use, we're gonna add some more flux to this. Okay, let's grab a hot iron and let's start waking off this uh, all this low melt solder. All right, let's clean up the flux, the burnt flux off of here. All right, let's add some flux and then clean it up.
Alrighty, so now what we're going to do is actually put some solder on these pins. And then we're going to drop the port right on there. And then secure the ground legs afterwards. That's the only way to do it so that these uh, pins actually solder properly onto the, onto the port. And this is the replacement port here. We're going to go ahead and add some solder to these legs and these legs. Some flux and solder. There we go. Now we're just going to do a little quick test real quick to make sure that it's going to fit. Sure is. And I'm going to go ahead and hold this. Just like that. Let's go ahead and add uh, flux to these pins. and then some solder. There we go. Let's add a little bit more flux. And let's start heating up. I'm going to drop temperature, I mean not temperature, but airflow down to 70%. I'm going to hold, I'm going to hold, oh, and it fell. I'm going to hold the, uh, USB-C charging port with my pliers ready to just drop in there as soon as it melts just like that so I'm gonna go ahead and hold it and I'm start heating up Alrighty, let's check to see if these pins actually uh, harden in there. I may have to add a little bit more uh, solder to these pins here, but yeah, they're on there. Yeah, they're on there. Let's add a little bit more solder to these though. I'm added a lot more flux and just a tad bit of solder. There we go. We clear the bridge. 
Now let's go ahead and add some uh, solder to the legs. Okay, we put enough uh, solder down at the bottom. Let's check the top to make sure that uh, it went through all the way. It doesn't seem like it did. It did not. On this one it did, that leg it did, this leg it did not. So we're just gonna add just a tad bit to this leg. Alrighty, that is actually it. Let's go ahead and clean up. Alrighty, let's just check to see if there's any uh, bridged pins for whatever reason now. And we also did the tug test. Let's look inside the port. Oh, there is flux all inside this port. I need to clean that up. It looks good. Let's check our uh, M92 chip just to make sure that uh, no damage was done to this chip. Yeah, we got flux all the way over here. I need to clean that up. All right, let's check these chips. Capacitors. This is the chip for the APU. If it's shorted, we will hear that sound. Black probe on ground. Okay, that's good. M92 is good. Let's check this other power management chip over here. Black probe on ground. Yeah, they're good. Alrighty, let's put the board together. Uh, actually, let's uh, let's test. See what type of uh, what type of feedback we get right now. 
We've got our uh, charging cable right over here. We're just going to hook up the battery for now. Okay, we got the battery hooked up. Let's see if it does anything. So let's start. Oh, there we go. Fast charging. Okay, that's good. That is good. Okay, let's unplug it and let's put it back together. Alrighty, we've got the console put together just enough to be able to test. Let's see if, in fact, uh, replacing the uh, USB-C fix the issue for this specific uh, Nintendo Switch. I did test capacitors uh, for the M92 M92 chip, also the uh, B, uh, the uh, power management chip over here and the B I forgot what the other number is which is behind also check the capacitors for that chip as well and they all tested good the Texas they tested successful um, so I'm gonna do it's plug in the my power cable it'll show me the voltage and amperage on here and we'll see if it'll boot as well so it's a 0 0.44. I uh, see I uh, did see a charging. There it is. It's booting up. Awesome. It's charging on this side, and let's see if it'll charge on the other side as well. There we go. And it is charging on the other side as well. So that's good. Battery is at 19%. And it is fast charging. So that's good. All functionality is good on this Nintendo Switch as well. Alrighty, let's go ahead and finish putting it back together. We're going to clean up this thermal paste. And then put brand new thermal paste on here.
<laughs> Alrighty, so just tested right now that both of these uh, Joy Cons actually do communicate. Gonna check the charging port one more time. It's charging, fast charging. And now let's check it from the other side. Fast charging as well. So that being said, this console is actually completely fixed for what it was brought in for. I am going to do some uh, additional testing, of course, off of camera and whatnot and make sure everything's still functional. But other than that, this console is repaired. Um, if you stayed in tune and actually watch my videos, thank you, thank you very much. This is uh, my first Nintendo Switch video. It may, it may not be the best quality video as... Uh, it was actually, I, I did this pretty quick, meaning I got the, the Nintendo Switch earlier today and I didn't prepare to get this video recorded. Uh, other than that, thank you again for staying in tune and watching my video. My apologies for not narrating as much. Um, I don't know, I'm just exhausted, honestly. Um, do me a favor, go ahead and hit the like button on this video if you like the type of content I'm actually providing. And also, hit the subscribe button as well. That way you get, uh, well, if you hit the like button, you actually get notified. Or not the like button, but the bell notification button. That way you get notified every single time I actually upload a video. But also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And that actually pushes me to create more content for you guys and actually upload for this channel. This is my first video uh, that I've actually filmed for this year of 2022, um, which is today's January 5th. And uh, I hope that this year I upload a whole lot more video and new content versus being repetitive. That's one of the reasons why I haven't uploaded any videos is because a lot of my content has been repetitive. I get about the similar type of issues uh, constantly, so I don't want to bore you guys out there. So other than that, once again, thank you. Y'all have a good day, good night, good morning, wherever you're at, and I'll see you on my next video. Thanks, everyone. Peace.